Hello students, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Here we'll learn to read, speak and write together and have a lot of fun. I am Meenu Gupta, English teacher with Directorate of Education, Delhi. This is Suhani with me who will be representing our learners today. Today we are going to do part 1 of chapter 8, The Hack Driver by Sinclair Lewis from the supplementary reader of class 10, Footprints Without Feet. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to read the short story, The Hack Driver with understanding, identify events, the main idea and the sequence of ideas. They'll be able to appreciate the story the hack driver and interpret the events and theme of the story and contact their personal experiences. Hi Suhani, do you know how did the people travel before the modern means of transport came into being? Yes, earlier people used to travel by bullock cart, tonga, bicycle etc. Great, how did the news travel in such areas? Through people from one person to another. Very well said Suhani. Yes, it's true that news used to travel through people, especially shopkeepers in the countryside. Although radios were already there into the beaten, but they were used only to new broadcast news for national importance. Let us move ahead. As it has a very self-explanatory title, let us play a small game before we start reading the lesson. It is called the guessing game. So Suhani, when I say the title, The Hack Driver, what do you understand about the title? What the lesson could be about? When I look at the title, I think the chapter would be about a driver who hacks into people's social media account or probably a driver who hacks drives. Okay. Let's sh let me show you a small photograph. Now can you guess what the lesson is about? I believe that these two people are going somewhere and it could not be a car or something, it's a bullock cart hack driver. Yeah, let's continue and we'll see how correct was Suhani's guesses about the author. Harry Sinclair Lewis, 1885 to 1951, was an American novelist, short story writer and playwright. He is the first American writer to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Some of his famous novels are Hike and the Aeroplane, the job, an American novel, free air, etc. Now about this lesson. A young lawyer comes to a village to serve summons on Oliver Lutkins. A friendly hack driver takes him around the village in search of Lutkins. Does he find him? Who is Lutkins? We'll try and find the answers to these questions when we go through the lesson summary. But before we begin, let me ask a few questions. Is everyone who looks nice and helpful is pure at heart and have good intention? No, they may be or may not be. Very well said. Suhan, have you heard the phrase, uh, never trust a stranger or looks can be deceptive? Yes, I know these phrases. I have heard about them in the chapter A question of trust. Great memory. Do you think the phrase is relevant to this story? I don't think so. Let's go through the summary of the lesson and find whether they are relevant to the chapter. Now, let us begin the lesson. It would be better if we read the lesson ourselves. However, listening to the story is also enjoyable and contribute to our understanding and development of listening skill. You can use the audio text available at site website Google as NCERT textbook, you'll find it or click on the following link seen on your screens. https colon double slash bit dot ly slash ncert hyphen ab. After listening to the two paragraphs, what is your impression about the narrator? Let us fill the graphic organizer. Recently graduated, worked in a law firm, Good. inexperienced in the ways of the world, was happy to go out of the city, 
had to serve summons instead of preparing legal briefs. Okay. Anything else? Uh, he hated his job, got expected a beautiful countryside but got disappointed. Very well said Suhani and you two learners. Now raise your hand and take it on your back and pat yourself. Good job. It is important to praise yourself. You are worth it. Now let us continue with the summary of the lesson. The story is written in first person where the narrator was working as an assistant clerk in a famous law firm. After completing his graduation, he was not very happy with his job of serving summons because sometime he had to face harsh situations while serving them. One day, he got the task of serving summons to Oliver Lutkins, who was a key witness in some case. He lived in a small town named New Mulia. The narrator was very excited to visit a small and beautiful town, but his excitement was dulled by the dull appearance of the town. He saw a hack driver standing at the platform who was very cheerful and nice. He went up to them and inquired about Oliver Lutkins as he was new to the town and wanted to find him. The driver told him that Oliver was a nasty man who owed debt to many people. He also cunningly extracted information from the lawyer that he needed Lutkins for some court case. A deal was cracked between them. He decided to hire Bill's hack and go on a search for Lutkins. Bill somehow traps the lawyer in his story and they visit different places in search of Lutkins but keep on missing him narrowly. Every time Bill goes to look for Lutkins, he always asks the lawyer to stay behind. In the afternoon, Bill offered him to buy lunch from his wife as it would be less costly than the restaurant which they eat at Wade's Hill. By the end of the day, the clerk was totally impressed with Bill's nice and cheery nature. He had even started comparing village people to city people. At last, the lawyer had to leave without serving summons to Lutkin. Next day, he was scolded badly by his chief and was again sent to New Mullion with a companion who knew Lutkins. Upon reaching the station, the clerk happily pointed out that Bill was such a helpful person to help him search Lutkins. At this time, the truth was revealed by his companion that the hack driver was none other than Lutkins himself. The clerk felt embarrassed of how he had been fooled by a villager. Now, do you remember the question I asked in the beginning of the lesson? So, honey, let me ask you again. Is everyone who looks nice and helpful pure at heart and true his in intention? No, the looks can be deceptive. The people who, who offer to help may have their own hidden agendas. Very well said Suhani. We hope that you understood something about the chapter from the summary I have discussed. Let us check how much through these multiple choice questions. Suhani, please pay attention. Question 1. Who is the author of the story, The Hack Driver? H.G. Wells, Robert W. Peterson, Guy de Mossepon, Sinclair Lewis. Sinclair Lewis. Great, Suhani. Now, next question, question 2. What job did he get after completing his graduation? Partner in a law firm, lawyer, senior associate or junior assistant clerk? Junior assistant clerk. Good. Question number 3. What was he supposed to do at the law firm? Fight cases, present legal briefs, serve summons or all of the above? Serve summons. Very good. Question number 4. What did he hate? The unpleasant work, the side of the city it revealed to him, both of them or none of the above? Both of them. Very well said. He used to hate the unpleasant work and side of the city it revealed to him. Question number 5. 
how did he expect new millions to be? Sweet and simple, muddy street, raw shops or none of the above. Sweet and simple. Right. Question number 6. What was the only pleasant sight in New Mullions? The delivery man, the weather, the raw shops or none of the above? The delivery man. Right, said Suhani. Question number 7. Where did they go for lunch? Wade's Hill, Bill's home, Oliver's home or Oliver's mother's farm? Wade's Hill. Right. Question number 8. Bill seemed to dash Lutkin's talent for dishonesty. Dislike, hate, criticize or admire? Admire. Great, Suhani. Question number 9. What, who was Lutkin's? Fritz, Swate, Gray or Bill? Bill. Right. Question number 10. How many times did he have to visit New Millions? One, two, four or five? Two times. Great. Great work, Suhani. Now, we have gone through the lesson and I hope you have been able to read the short story, The Hack Driver with Understanding, identify events, the main idea and the sequence of events. Appreciate the story, The Hack Driver and interpret the events and theme of story and connect with your personal experiences. Please remember to read the lesson and keep learning English. Thank you.